You, my friends, have inherited the kingdom. Your parents are dead. They're dead, but there is good news. They left you a pretty nice treasury and a, some land. Something you could be content with if uh, that was the type of person you are, but you're not. You want more. You want all the lands. And so this whole game is a battle for, for those lands. <laughs> Hungry yet? Wired up. <laughs> Done. What does that mean? Just drugs? Or what? It's the shirt. It's Einstein smoking the Oh, I, the, you the wore universe. that on the night. Yeah, I, I, this is the only shirt I have. I was like very much the proper nerdy Indian kid who like was into hard sciences and loved chemistry and physics and was never thought or dreamed of a, a time that I'd be creating content. I kind of always like dabbled with the idea of being funny. Um, but never thought it was like that was a career choice. All right, straight towards the camera. And action. I got into Brown University and uh, I was a computer science major. I took one summer off to make my own short film and I just fell in love with the entire process. The whole thing was like, this is, this is it, this is what I want to do. You know, it has, it sort of marries, she's hitting an itch hard, hard. Get it, get it gotten. Uh, and so I scratched my proverbial itch uh, by creating a, uh, my own film. So you can cut that in so that it makes sense. I wrote in sort of a drunken uh, stupor while watching my roommate play The Legend of Zelda. And he's like, I can beat that in 40 minutes. And I was like, fuck you. You can't be that in 40 minutes because it spent me, you know, it took me six years to beat that game. So he started playing it and he's like, he knows where all the heart containers are. And he's like, he already had like fucking 12 heart containers before he even beat level one, dick. As I was watching it, watching him play it, I was just getting drunker and drunker and sort of like commenting on the ridiculous sort of things that were happening in the game or the, the game logic that I found to be absurd or like, oh, if you were, if you were Link, what would you be thinking when this old man gives you a crappy wooden sword to go kill actual living creatures with? This thing's a piece of crap. Hey, fuck you. That crap is free. I made it, right? Ungrateful shit. I'm out of here. Poof. Poof, uh-oh. I was supposed to disappear there, like in a magical way. Never mind. And that's kind of how the Legend Neil came to be. People are paying me to make a show about a guy jerking off to Zelda. Like, doesn't get any better than that. And it turns out that Wilfred is in the radiation Anna, chamber. Anna, stop. I have to be honest here. I, I don't really like Doctor Who. What? But we talk about it all the time. No, nah, no, you talk about it all the time. I've never seen a full episode. It's way too geeky for me. And maybe like, it's, it's too. You know, it's, it's tough thing to say that. No, you talk about it all the time. I've never actually seen a full episode. It's too geeky for me. Well, the one thing about being in LA and making films, like, that one of the things that I've sort of learned is, like, it, it really matters what community you work with. Like, something like Game Off, I don't make a lot of money off of Game Off. It's way more about, like, having a connection to Nerdist and, like, strengthening my friendship with, you know, those guys and Chris and, uh, and then also roping in, it's, it's sort of like, oh, I'm doing something interesting and cool that a lot of people will be excited to, to like, uh, I'll spend two hours coming in and, you know, doing a voiceover for that. Maybe the spiny can help us. Exterminate! Oh, oh Exterminate. God! Anna, does that spiny look an awful bit like a Dalek? What? Who are you? I am the doctor. 
It's the doctor. Nice to meet you. Run for your life. I'm supposed to believe you're actually the doctor. Am I saving the day while adding a sense of humor and whimsy to perilous situations? <laughs> I'd say so. Well, then who else could I be? Exterminate. Exterminate. Either it sort of like sh helps you strengthen friendships you've already made in some ways, or like allows you to offer something cool and you know to someone that you want to be more involved with. You need me to get it for you? Acting was a happy byproduct of taking improv classes. That, you know, Felicia Day was like, I wrote this role for you in the guild and I want you to play Zabu. And I was like, I'm not really an actor. And she's like, oh no, you're an actor. And I was like, okay, you know, you're lost, you know, like you're fucked. Gotta run, so much to do, so much to see, so many things going on. You I'll know? put you in the comic. cover and give me muscles it's not that kind of a comic make it that kind of comic okay maybe like special thanks or something yeah we can do that but that was a great learning experience you know it's all learning experience I mean that's what they say the primary re reason I started acting at all why I did improv was to kind of learn what it was like to be an actor it was like what's it like to be on the other side so if I'm gonna tell these people what to do I should be able to empathize with them and you know understand what they're going through. Bring it back to, to, to one and give me a beat before you start saying Mr. B, okay? Here we go. And How we do it. action. Mr. B. Mr. Belding. How is it? Our best batch yet. Today as I looked at my whiteboard full of like all the different ideas, I torture myself with this. Like it's really like, I'm always worried, unfortunately, that one direction that I choose like closes off all these other paths and it's just, it's a horrible thing. And like I have to constantly remind myself like, no, 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 no. Whatever you choose in that moment is the, is the correct decision. Hello? Things are moving and then they stall and so it's just a matter of like can, you know you, I guess you have to have that board full of ideas so that you can just keep moving on to the, the next one and the next one after that. Alright, alright, got it. Sugar and bacon soda and toothpicks. And ibuprofen. <laughs> Look at how real he is. He has ibuprofen guys. I have ibuprofen. It's crazy. There's no red pepper in there. He eats like a human. Wait. The bite and smile. People always ask me like, oh, what do I need to do to like, to make my own show or whatever, you know, like that's a common question. Like, how do I get to where you are or whatever? And it's like, you just have to have something to offer. People have time and they want to like do cool things. So if you have something to offer them, they are more likely to say yes than if you were like, give them something very speculative, right? You just gotta keep making shit and you'll keep running into people that are making shit too and inevitably they'll ask you to be in their thing and it's just so horrible. It's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a spiral of awesome. I didn't know that until they just showed up in my, my bedroom. Right, wow, wow, wow. It's strange. And it's specifically the angle of covering you as a cerebral anarchist? Yeah. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. so. Satanist as well. Satanist? Oh, well, Red Sox, yeah, I should have put that. Right. Hey, wait, Association to... What? Oh. Step. Oh, I wasn't! Invisible knife! Was.